Hey guys, I'm back. We are currently at Act 7, which is, in my opinion, the most enjoyable part of the game, because it's very long and we get to see some very interesting action here. Um, but before I begin, I wanted to restore to a very scandalous part of the game and show you something. So, uh, yeah, remember that time we went in here and Fifi went into her dressing room and she was changing clothes and whatnot. Um, yeah, I got a comment from, let's see, Ace Harding? I think that's it. Who said that I should try to type open door while Fifi is changing. And I've, I've heard you could do that before, and I know that something is supposed to happen, but every time I tried it, I couldn't get it to work. But um, right after I said I can't get it to work, I actually tried it, and it, for once it worked. It was really weird. So, um, I'm just gonna try and show what happens, and hopefully it'll work because I can get it to work sometimes, and other times it doesn't do anything. So let's, let's give it a whirl. Okay, now? Yes! Got it! You have to do it, like, right now, so... Open door. Please, mademoiselle, shut the door! So, um, yeah, that, that was it, actually. I hope you're happy, you pervs. Alright. <laughs> so, back to Act 7. First of all, you have to go take our hourly visit to Polly. He's gonna say something pretty interesting this time. All right, Polly. Awk! Sleep tight, my pretties! Awk! In the basement! The basement! Now this is interesting because, um, there's a cellar outside, but as far as we're aware, there is no basement in this house. But, um, you know, we could, we could try and see if there's any clues in the cellar, right? Or not. It's locked. Well, that's too bad. So, I guess that, that should just be a mystery. For now, we, we are going to go back upstairs into our room. Last time we were there, Lillian was writing in her diary, and she got really pissed off at us, but, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe she'll be gone this time, or maybe, maybe she won't be mad at us anymore, right? Yeah? Think so? Let's see. All right, Lillian, you in there? Nope. However, her suitcase is here. So let's be a bit of a snoop and open the suitcase. You notice a diary lying on top of Lillian's clothes. All right, time to be the worst friend ever and take her diary. Okay. Read diary. Upon opening the diary, you casually notice an ink-stained fingerprint inside the front cover. Curiously, and a bit guiltily, you scan through the rest of the diary's pages. Nothing much capture captures your interest until you come to the latest entry. It reads, May 27th, that's today. Dear Diary, I'm so terribly upset. I can't believe Uncle Henri would do this to me. I thought I was like a daughter to him, and now I find that I'm no more important than any of those other creeps. They can't get away with it, you know. They just can't. Between you and me, Diary, you know they have to go. Because of what they all did to me. I know they were all in it together to have me put away in the nut house. I was never crazy. They just wanted me out of the picture. Now they have to... That's it. The passage ends abruptly. Hmm, what could Lillian mean by all this? Wow, Lillian's a complete psychopath. It's too bad we didn't know this before we uh, came here, but, um, oh well. Um, 
So there was a fingerprint on the diary, so let's look at the diary with our monocle. Upon opening the diary, you see a small uh, inky fingerprint inside the front cover. You examine it more closely with Wilbur's monocle. So, yeah, another fingerprint. Go us. And open, or not open, move closet. Ooh, what's this? Can't right click? Okay, well, look at floor. You notice a dusty boot print on the floor. Look, boot print. You don't see any footprints around here. Well, make up your mind, jeez. Is Clarence still in here? Nope, there's nothing of interest in Rudy and Clarence's room. In that case, we can uh, use this passage. Uh-oh. A bad feeling comes over you as you look around this room. The small desk chair has been knocked over and you can see a, a fresh blood stain on the rug. Oh, that's not good. Looks like Clarence was the next victim. Look at chair. During some sort of struggle, the desk chair has been overturned. Look at blood. You see a fresh blood stain on the rug near the overturned chair. And last but not least, let's take a look at what Wilbur, or I mean, what Clarence is writing. Read notebook. You notice that just one page has been written on, and today's date, May 27th, 1925, heads it. Curiously, you read the rest. It says, I'm terribly apprehensive about what's going on around here. I can't say why. Just call it a bad sensation. But as the evening wears on, I'm feeling more and more alone. Where's Wilbur? Where's Gertie? Where's Gloria? Could they have left without me? Is there a way to leave the island that I'm not aware of? Still, the spine-tingling feeling won't leave, and frankly, I'm scared. Apparently that's it. You can't take the notebook, I don't think. No, you don't, you don't need to carry around Clarence's notebook, but uh, apparently we really need um, the diary. That makes lots of sense. Actually, it makes some sense, I guess. Anyways, uh... So... Yeah, I'm gonna go up here into the bathroom again. Because... <sighs> This is horrendous! Now it's Clarence! Someone has killed him by stagging, stabbing him in the chest with the dagger. If only there was a way to flee this terrible island.